what is going on everybody let me know that you can hear me in that chat section if you would just give me a, a hello yes I can hear you something along those lines it would be greatly appreciated um, of course you know I do these lives every day to help you guys out to help you start running grow online businesses you know share with me some of your successes share with me some of your problems share with me your questions put it all in that chat section if you aren't listening live uh, you can put it in the comments section later on there'll be a spot down there if you aren't listening live uh, and you can put your comments in there and I'll, I'll get back to you there too don't worry about that you know and it doesn't matter if it, this is a week old or a month old or whatever it is I go back and I look at my other videos and I try to jump in there and answer questions for you guys uh, so make sure you do that really important today I'm gonna talk about getting comfortable on camera uh, and if you've ever wanted to shoot a video uh, I'm gonna give you some steps you can go through that will really help you out um, and it's it's really not bad <laughs> it's not horrible you know it's not the end of the world uh, I think a lot of people um, think oh my gosh I'm gonna do a video and it's gonna be terrible well so what if it is I mean it's still not the end of the world you know I, I have terrible videos it's just the way it is you know uh, we, we do stuff all the time in life and it doesn't come out right uh, let's see here James says loud and clear nobody else said anything so I guess James can be the only one that can hear me no come on guys jump in that chat section um, and I'm actually going to give you some steps you can go through on doing videos if you want to do this it doesn't matter what age you are it doesn't matter if you're a kid it doesn't matter if you're in your 80s 90s it doesn't matter um, and everything in between somebody's going to want to hear you you know it used to be like you were in your town and there was a population of let's say 500,000 people okay we'll, we'll pick a number out and you had to find enough people in your town that were going to like what you had or what you had to sell but it ain't like that anymore and you know maybe there weren't enough people to support your business but it's not like that anymore online you know what are there's seven billion people in the world I think that's right I don't know um, you can definitely find an audience and an audience of you know a thousand people is really what you need to make a living if you think about it uh, if you get a thousand people uh, and they're paying you you know ten dollars a month uh, that's ten thousand dollars a month you know that's enough to live off of so you know you can do this stuff online guys take advantage of this um let's see here mike roberts says sounds good 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 glad you can hear me um so what i'd like to do and like i say in the meantime put your questions in there uh camera what's going on good to see you here uh and don't forget to subscribe guys if you haven't subscribed please do so right now before you forget click that subscribe button there turn on your notifications there's a bell right next to that subscribe button you got to ring that bell turn on all notifications so that you're notified when I do go live like this so you don't miss it uh, in addition to that every time I upload a video it will notify you and say hey there's a new video uh, I'm doing a lot of content right now I edited uh, five videos yesterday and I got seven more to edit today so I've got a lot of stuff going up plus these lives I'm doing right now so there's a lot of good stuff for you guys uh, to grasp onto and the reason I say it's good stuff is not because I'm going oh my gosh I'm so good I do all these things I'm just giving you the things I've done that works okay so you know I'm not sharing with you all my mistakes and I do have mistakes I have a lot of them I have them all the time but if I can share with you all the things that work um, then you can apply it and you can get good results too it's really that simple uh, it honestly is um, but you also have to participate and that means you know putting something in that chat section there talking to me so that you know I can answer your questions and help you out um, if you've got all the answers well I guess you don't need me uh, but I don't think anybody does I don't have all the answers uh, I know I don't oh, my bell is kind of out of shot here isn't it I'm gonna get that right um, so let's see here Cameron says sir soon you will have a hundred thousand subscribers in six months well I hope so Cameron uh, I'm gonna keep showing up for you guys no matter what I'm gonna be here for you because I know when I started there was nobody doing this stuff where they would just go and answer your questions for you uh, without charging you money and most of the people that were charging you money then hadn't done anything worthwhile um, so you know th that is that's kind of ridiculous uh, but they would do it they would charge you money uh, Aldine what's going on you showed up hey everyone hope you're all doing great um, cool cool Aldine's here so what I'm gonna do is I want to go over uh, and I want to talk to you about the things that you can do um to actually be comfortable on camera okay uh, it's not that hard um it's not that difficult yes you can do it um and you got to understand you know really where your fear is coming from everybody 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 if you're going to shoot a video 
is scared okay everybody is it's not just you it's not like you're different or anything like that we're all scared you know we're worried about what people are going to say about us or people are going to like it you know it, it's really about that image public speaking anxiety um, they say is one of the strongest fears there is you know I mean it's a really scary thing for no apparent reason um, you know well I guess when we were first in groups of people living in the woods you know if you if you offended the group of people then you know they weren't going to protect you and they weren't going to feed you uh, and you were shunned and I guess we still kind of have that inside of us now uh, but it's not like that anymore guys um, you know so what if somebody doesn't like you I have plenty of people that don't like my stuff but I have more people that do like it and I just go with that and I ignore the other people and if they're you know if they're spammy or you know they're trolls or whatever I just block them it's really that simple um, now there are some things you can do to be more successful online uh, Morad's in there what's going on Morad good to see you um, there are some things you can do like number one know what you're gonna say be prepared you know you can write a list of stuff if you if you want to write a script you could do that you know there are teleprompters that you can put on your phone now where you can it's an app you can actually download it and let me see if I can tell you what the one is that I have uh, it's pretty darn good um, I think I paid like $19 for it it's called teleprompter just called teleprompter yeah so you can find that in the App Store uh, and then what I do is like if I'm going to use a script I have all my scripts right there see that and I can just scroll through them all uh, and let me see here there there you go there's one of the scripts right there and I hit start and it just kind of scrolls along right as I'm doing something so you can if you want to do a script you can do it on your phone but be prepared know what you're gonna say okay uh, the next thing you can do if you're really worried about being on camera is rehearse it you know do it two or three times without recording or without it being live if you do this this is gonna get you some confidence and confidence really comes from um, knowing and knowing what you're gonna do and knowing what's gonna happen okay that's where your confidence is gonna come from um, so it's hard to be confident if you walk out in front of a camera and you haven't prepared anything and you haven't practiced anything I mean that's kind of that's kind of scary to do now the next big thing um, if you want the video to be successful let me get a sip here real quick how often do we try that's how often we try okay that's how often you try um, but next thing is lighting lighting is huge lighting is huge guys uh, right now I've got double lights over my head these long strip lights I've got a big ring light over here it's about this big around I've got these box lights here I got one here I got one here and I got one here so I got three of those so one two three four five six different lights now you say well JR I don't have six lights I can't do all that great open your window behind you let the sunshine come in and film with you facing the window okay don't have the window behind you if you have the window behind you that's called backlighting you never want to be backlit you want to be front lit so you always want to face your window all right with the light coming in on you and that's the angle you want to film at I see a lot of people will stand in front of the window and go well I wanted some light which and then film themselves in front of the window you can't do that it, it, it just washes you out okay so remember if you have a window and you want to film in front of it you stand in front of the um, window but you film from the window to you okay so if that makes sense if it makes sense put it in the, that uh, chat section there um, when using a script doesn't it look obvious that you're reading from a script you know not if you practice not if you practice um, how do they know that you're reading from a script now I have a uh, teleprompter on my phone so I'm looking directly at the phone now I'll tell you when it looks fake is when somebody's talking to you like this and they're reading a script right or if they're looking like this and they're reading a script so some people will try to put their script on their computer and then put their camera above it and believe me that that little look down when you're like if I'm if I'm talking to you like this and reading something yeah then it looks fake so if you're going to use a teleprompter make sure it's built into your phone that you're going to be recording on or you actually have a teleprompter but you know here's the truth if it looks a little fake so what you know the the other thing is you're not going to be perfect I'm never ever ever never ever perfect and I know it I know I'm not perfect no big deal I don't care show me somebody who is perfect I can show you people that are better than me I can show you people who are worse than me um, but I don't know anybody that's perfect I mean everybody makes mistakes and I, I can tell you when you make little mistakes it kind of humanizes you they look at you and go yeah I can relate to that person they're human you know they make mistakes just like me I like that person 
um, I watch a lot of cooking videos on YouTube I'm, you know, I'm, I want to start a cooking channel so hope you guys will join that but I watch a lot of them on there and one thing I've noticed not I watch Quantran I, I watch Sam the cooking guy I watch tons of them almost without exception every single one of them in one of their in their video will burn themselves they'll go ow, 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 ow I just burnt myself and I mean they can't possibly burn themselves every time they do a video but it they do it on purpose you know or pretend to burn themselves every time or cut themselves or do something to show that they're vulnerable that you know they too mess up uh, and I know Sam the cooking guy in every single one of his videos he makes a mistake and he talked about it one time because in his very first video he made tons of mistakes uh, in a TV station didn't want to you know show his video and they wouldn't give him a spot because they said no you're making too many mistakes we need somebody that's you know perfect and it's right on uh, so what he found was that people watching him kind of liked it they were like yeah he messed up he spilled something he dropped something you know he burned himself uh, he overcooked something people make mistakes okay so if you're worried about being perfect don't worry about it um, set up an angle of your camera that's gonna make you look decent and what I mean by that is don't have it like so far away I can barely see you don't have it like right up in your face like this I've seen people do that with a camera like looking up their nose don't do that you always want the camera like my camera here is a slight angle down you don't want the camera angle underneath your chin like if you put a laptop on the desk and right now I've got like two things that stack it up and make it higher but if you put a laptop on your desk and you come down and talk to it it's gonna get underneath your chin it just doesn't look good and I don't have the best chin anyhow I don't have a perfect chin uh, let's see what else we got in here uh, let's see when using a script okay I did that one you present very well well thank you Mike I appreciate it <clears throat> but I, I know I mean I know I screw up you know I gotta clear my throat every now and then in the morning you know and uh, you know like I haven't shaved today you know I'm a little rough uh, I will I just I don't have to <laughs> Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool that I can come to work and I go, yeah, I don't want to shave. Um, I couldn't do that in my other job. They'd be like, oh, you haven't shaved. You need to go back home. So, of course, nowadays it's a little bit more lax. They'll let you do that stuff. Uh, but set up a good camera angle, okay? So don't have it like underneath your chin or something like that. Um, dress for success. So I don't, you know, these lives, I don't always, you know, dress up much uh, because it's just a live one. But when I'm shooting a video for my channel, uh, I will put on a nice dress shirt. I don't wear ties just hate them I wore them for too many years but I'll put on a nice dress shirt uh, and I shoot that way because I want people to take me seriously you know I'm talking about earning a living I'm talking about making money online you know and if I come in in a dirty white t-shirt you know my hair is not kempt or anything they're gonna go well you know I don't know if he knows what he's talking about but if I was doing a carpentry one a dirty white t-shirt's fine and I don't have to fix my hair you know or a cooking one or something like that you don't need to but I see some people really get fixed up there's this one um lady claudia something i can't remember goose i can't remember her last name but she does uh, uh some cooking videos not I mean her hair is done nails makeup jewelry everything there's no way you would dress this way to cook stuff uh but she looks nice on camera so you know that's what she chooses to do <clears throat> um next thing i want to tell you is stage your background oftentimes people will do videos and they forget what it looks like behind them and I mean it can be a some of these videos I watch it's a disaster behind them this doesn't mean you can't do your video if you don't have a great background it doesn't mean that at all but I mean try to tidy it up a little bit don't have a bunch of junk there and you know mess going on if you can tidy it up it's gonna make the video just look a little bit better so you can do that uh, next thing I'll tell you is keep some water on hand okay when I film videos like I did Thursday I did 12 in one day hang on one second Uh, you need to hydrate your throat will get so dry you'll make so many mistakes and <clears throat> still my throat's a little bit dry today but um, gotta have some water on hand next thing I'll tell you also is you want to try to talk a little slower than you would normally speak uh, and I don't mean like this slow I don't mean that but I mean you do want to slow down a little bit sometimes you get ahead of yourself uh, what's Paul saying here love that brick background you had I still have it somewhere it's over there in the closet I have the brick background um, I probably at our new house since it's so nice we'll probably just use the house for the background uh, I'm gonna have a built-in bookcase done so maybe well maybe I'll use something like that for the background uh, not sure on that one yet um, and if, if you're still a little apprehensive and you don't want to get on camera 
you can do screen share videos where you're actually you know and you've seen me do that when I'm d doing live with you guys where I'll just like show a web page I'm going to and then I'll talk about it I did that yesterday when we were looking up that uh, the metadata the title and the description all that stuff I put that in there um, and guys also put questions about what I'm talking about here too put that in that chat section super important that you do that um, that way yeah I got a message on my watch these watches are irritating uh, that way uh, I get some interaction on the video which is really important um, and I can answer your questions okay I normally charge for that I charge money for that okay uh, let's see here what else try to have high energy uh, and use hand gestures I don't have to tell myself to use hand gestures okay I can't even talk without my hands um, but you know don't be all like sitting straight like this talking to people it bores the crap out of people don't talk that way people talk with their hands okay people uh, have expression people have intonation so don't try to do this perfect speech like this you know you'll see a lot of political candidates do that where they just kind of sit all stiff they have their hands positioned in a certain way uh, and it just looks fake as crap you know you know they're full of it um, so try to do that try to use your hands and express yourself a little bit um, uh, what else and, and a lot of people worry they go like oh my god where do I put my hands what do I do with my hands just do whatever whatever they normally do whatever they normally do that's what you do um, next thing I'll tell you this is a big one don't worry about mistakes they happen and I just told you that that there's certain youtubers that intentionally make mistakes so that they make themselves more open to their audience their audience likes it more Let me another sip here and dry through today there we go um, and also put in that comment section have you done any videos I want to know those of you who've done some videos uh, and put that in there and tell me what your experience was in doing videos other people would love to see that you could really help some people out if you say hey I did this video I did that video you know whatever <clears throat> so don't worry about mistakes there's no big deal um, don't do a million takes that's another thing I'll see people do and it just exhausts them where they just go oh no that wasn't right I gotta do it over again no that wasn't right I gotta do it over again at some point just give it up and post what you got okay just post what you got uh, it's okay to do it over once uh, and what I do when I'm filming is if I make a mistake in the middle let's say I was oh, I was supposed to say um, add salt to the flour and, and instead I said uh, add so full to flour and I messed up like that okay I messed up the words well then I would just stop for a second give myself a break and say add salt to flour and uh, these are for recorded ones now and that way I can just cut out the messed up one and I don't have to do the whole thing over again and it's called a jump cut it's gonna be like I'm talking all of a sudden it jumps to the next one you'll see jump cuts all through my videos that's where I edited stuff that I messed up okay so that's all that is and you'll see it all through videos on YouTube everybody uses jump cuts and I, and matter of fact I, I wouldn't use anything other than jump cut uh, I see people try to like fade into one thing or the other or spin the screen around all those weird transitions they just look odd they just do it's just better to do a jump cut um, and if you want you know you can practice and you can send your videos to other people to you know have them look it over I don't really like doing this because I don't really care what my friends and family think about my videos they don't know what I do they don't understand that um, so it, it it doesn't really matter so much okay all right let's see here edit your own videos learn to edit your own videos don't go oh my gosh I'm gonna get a video editor and I'm gonna have them do these perfect edits don't do that just edit it yourself you know you have iMovie on uh, Apple uh, and you have uh, shoot what is it called on Microsoft let's see here uh, Microsoft video editor what's it called I don't use it that's why uh, movie maker movie maker is what it is so you've got movie maker for um, uh, Microsoft so e either one of those are free they're not going to do as much as something like Camtasia I use Camtasia I love Camtasia I also have Final Cut Pro for a backup which I use every now and then um, and let's see here what else do I got oh press record what do I mean by that just start making some stuff man just start making it why not you why not you having a five or ten thousand dollar income off your YouTube channel why not you why I mean, what's the difference in you and anybody else you know I can show you people that this you know are mess up all the time on their videos and they have, they make millions of dollars why not you you know I can show you young people I can show you old people I can show you people in between 
why not you you got to press record you got to do that all right so let me see what do I got in here do you know I am fat so what so what Cameron there's a lot of fat people so what be whatever you want you know uh, Paul Perdome uh, was very obese and he was one of the greatest chefs of all time he's he passed away now and nobody cares no people don't care they don't care and if somebody picks on you block them screw them uh, it doesn't matter you are who you are uh, what is your average editing time per video Wow <laughs> it depends on what I'm doing and understand I for the videos that I post during the week I don't do all the editing okay there's a lot of b-roll putting in there and there's a lot of zoom ins and zoom outs and words on the screen I don't do that uh, if I do do that I'm very slow at it uh, it can take me a half hour to an hour for a minute worth of video yeah so it's a 10 minute video it can it can take me 10 hours if I were to do that five to ten hours uh, which is a long time so what I do is when I film a video I'll take that video and I take out all the things I don't want in it and I don't do any more edits and then I send it to my video editor and then he edits it and puts it up but understand I've only had him for the past couple years prior to that I did all my own edits and I would suggest you doing that because it's really hard to tell other people what you want if you haven't done it if you don't have that experience uh, and yeah it takes some time so what else are you gonna do with your time watch TV I mean you go to the movies can't go there I think that's illegal right I mean what else are you gonna do with your time might as well do something worthwhile uh, let's see what else we got here uh, what is your average time love that brick background I got that one uh, practice makes perfect um, I don't know I ain't got to perfect yet but I know what you're saying the more you do it the better you're gonna get I know what Paul means um, should I invest in small case what is small case I don't know what that is maybe let me look here and see if I can figure out what you're talking about uh, it, guys when you put like a word to a, a program or something like that or a whatever tell me what it is what is small case I'm looking it up I'm looking it up um, I don't I don't see where it is or what it is Maybe I didn't put everything in there. What is small case? Is it good to invest in small case? Let's see. Oh, it's a set of diversified stocks. I didn't know about it. I really didn't. I buy all my stocks individually, uh, and I do it based on uh, not their financials, but what I think the stock's going to do based on uh, emotions, and then I look at if the company is stable. Um, so, like in the beginning of COVID, I watched all the airlines tank. I mean, tank. Uh, and and then I heard that they were going to be bailed out by the government. And I'm like, well, if their stock goes way, way down, and they're not going to go out of business when this thing's over with, they'll probably at least go back up to where they were. So I bought the crap out of airlines. Um, I did the same thing with cruise ships, except I was a lot more conservative because there is a chance some of those could go out of business. Um, I bought Tesla because I was in the car business uh, and I, I saw what the guy was doing and I was very impressed. Uh, and now my stock is worth, well, a whole lot more than I, I paid for it. A lot, a lot more. It went up hundreds of times. Uh, so I did very, very well on that. Uh, I do uh, or I did have a stockbroker's license so I do understand the market I understand you know puts and calls and shorts and all that stuff I don't do any of those uh, I pretty much just buy stock and hang on to it um, um, so you know I bought like Sirius XM radio uh, I bought that because it was 24 cents at the time and I think it's what is it today uh, and, and I was in the car business and I noticed they were putting um, that into all the cars the Sirius XM thing so I bought that for that reason uh and i thought well yeah i sold it recently uh after howard stern signed his contract because it didn't go up enough uh what is your net worth you don't think i'm gonna tell you that do you you don't really think i'm gonna tell you that do you that's some funny stuff right there um i i have more than i owe how's that i have more than i owe that's that's a good way of putting it i can tell you this though guys if you're thinking about you know starting a business online when I was working for somebody else I would have never had the amount of money I have now working for somebody else it's not gonna happen you're, you're not gonna get rich working for somebody if you're working a job right now you're not gonna get rich because what happens is when you're working for a company you know they they determine that every job you know they're gonna pay X number of dollars for that's it 
they're not going to make somebody rich it's very rare to like be on the ground floor of Walmart or Microsoft you know, be some of the founding people who get stocks and, and get rich that's an extremely rare case and that's why it's in the news for the most part no matter what your job is how good you do it uh, you're only going to be paid X number of dollars I remember when I was <clears throat> in the automotive industry and I managed a department and it had skyrocketed and they paid me based on percentages uh, and the owner called me in and said we got to cut your pay because you're not going to make more than me and he literally said that to me and I was like wow so no matter how good I do uh, you're gonna cut my pay down because I'm only supposed to make X number of dollars so I, that was really eye-opening and I mean I knew it but it was like for you to actually come out and say you're not gonna make more than me you know I'm always gonna make more than you you're, you're never gonna have a chance uh, it got me to thinking and it got me to quit that place um, do you do fundamental analysis or technical um, I really I do a little bit of both um, and I do a lot of gut feeling a lot of gut feeling right now I can tell you some of the stocks I have uh, on this portfolio American Airlines uh, Alaska Airlines AMD uh, microprocessor uh, big commerce carnival cruise lines uh, Delta Airlines Dexcom uh, Dexcom is a um, continuous glucose monitoring device um, whoo, let's see here Ford Facebook I bought Facebook at $27 when it first came out so uh, and I think today it's $264 uh, FedEx I bought during the pandemic because a friend of mine who's very wealthy lives down the street from Fred Smith if you don't know who Fred Smith is he's the guy that started FedEx um, and he told him that their uh, sales were skyrocketing because uh, of COVID a lot of the airlines weren't flying so they couldn't fly a cargo so FedEx was getting a lot of packages uh, so I bought that stock and I've done very well on that one uh, let's see this one here is Hertz rent a car I've not done well on that one I'll tell you that I bought JetBlue uh, Eli Lilly um, Southwest Airlines uh, mile which is a uh, car insurance type thing that charges you based on your driving habits they put like a chip in your car uh, and I just recently bought that one uh, I bought uh, Moderna which you know about for the vaccines uh, Nor uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines Invax, which is a medical device transmission thing I bought Pfizer also because of the vaccine uh, Royal Caribbean oops uh, Target I just bought the other day it hasn't done well for me yet uh, tell Ray uh, toll brothers uh, construction because and that's another thing if you want to invest in construction if you're interested in any of this um, they um, build homes they're the largest home builder single family home builder in the country so that's toll brothers uh, I have Tesla of course I told you about that uh, United Airlines uh, VTRS I'm trying to remember what the heck that is I can't remember but I'm making money on it so that's good uh, and I bought Walmart and that's in this portfolio right here uh, and I won't tell you how much is there but um, those are the ones uh, that I'm into right now uh, and they're doing pretty good overall I mean they're all green except for a few reds uh, let's see here where are you from where am I from that's a great question where am I from well I was born in uh, Norfolk Virginia I've lived in Cyprus Nicosia I've lived in Cuba uh, and Western Germany uh, went to school in Florida uh, went to high school in Memphis Tennessee went back to Virginia went to college got a degree there um, then I moved out to California uh, in San Diego where I'm at now uh, for about nine years and then I went back to Virginia and lived there uh, up until 2013 then came back to San Diego in 2013 uh, and now we're moving to Austin Texas in a few months so that's where I'm from if that makes any sense uh, no you won't um, they typically won't give top performers a larger pay raise than poor performers either sucks yeah Mike this was when I was managing um, you know I, I was a, a general manager of a, a department there and um, yeah even then uh, do you use a length of time before you do a multi-part series yeah yeah I kind of do Paul uh, if it's gonna be like a 20 minute video or longer I split it into two uh, generally I only do a series of two videos like let's say I have the 14 steps to do something uh, I'll have like seven steps in the first one and then seven steps in the next one really important if you're gonna do one of the series things videos that you tell them in the very beginning this part one of part two you're gonna to want to watch part two after you're done with this 
uh, when you get done with it yeah you know, at the end of part one you say hey now what you want to do is look below there's a link below uh, it'll take you over to part two go watch part two in the beginning of part two I say hey this is part two of two if you haven't watched part one go back and watch part one really important that you do that uh, because that way you're gonna get more watch time people are gonna watch all of it uh, so yeah that's that's basically when I do it when it gets to that 20 minute mark and I can generally tell because I put notes that I'm going to talk about and I can tell how many pages I have of notes uh, and if it exceeds a certain amount I know that I can make that a two-part uh, video and I, I can do it that way these notifications are irritating uh, let's see here uh, do you ever check with Motley Fool I do not James I mean they're fine and I'm sure they got some good stuff but I understand that they are uh, sponsored okay so people pay them money uh, and anytime somebody's paying somebody money I just I, I worry about their advice I really do uh, I've been burned too many times and you know I used to listen to Howard Stern a lot and he would talk about products and how great they were and I tried a couple of them and they weren't great you know he'd lied about it so I, I don't like doing that um, Southwest Airlines great choice yeah yeah it's done good for me it really has uh, I, I like that stock Amy anime anime love how do you keep an eye on every stock you buy and not forget have you forgotten any oh no I use an app I use an app I use um, what is it uh, thinkorswim uh, and I don't want to show my stocks but you know I just look at them here on thinkorswim and then what I do is let's say there's some stocks that um, I feel like at a certain point I'm gonna to want to sell them uh, on thinkorswim I can put an alert bell next to it so if it is equal to or greater than that amount it sends me an alert and lets me know hey that stock you know you may want to sell this stock uh, and then of course I come up with that amount whatever that amount is I did that with all the airlines what I did is let's say they were at ten dollars and they fell down to two dollars um, but their average was ten so I would put an alert in at ten because when they get back to where they were I'm getting out uh, I don't think airlines uh, historically are a great investment but they were because of COVID so I normally would have never have bought an airline uh, but I knew they all went down uh, and they were gonna come back up uh, they have to right because they were bailed out and you know they're gonna go back to where they were so those were good investments so that's why I did that uh, let's see that's how that's how I stay on top of it uh, anime love uh, what which degree you got um, I do have a degree in finance um, corporate finance investing um, but that I don't think that really has any play in anything I mean and you know what is a degree all that means is I went to some classes and I, I memorized some stuff they told me to memorize and then I took a test on what I could remember I mean that's that's what a degree is it I don't know it didn't teach me much about business uh, I had one teacher a professor and that one professor taught me a lot he was really good in business uh, he was he would uh, build apartment complexes and what he would do uh, as students he would send us out with these surveys to go around and knock on doors at apartment complexes and ask people questions about what they want what they like what they didn't like and then he would take all that data and he would actually go out and build apartment complexes and um, he actually hired me to write some papers he put his name on it but that's okay I mean he hired me to write some financial papers when I was in college and it's funny because I got out of uh, college and I ended up in the back in the car business and I was at a Toyota dealership and he came in one day his name was Bernie Grablowski uh, smartest guy I mean smartest guy in business funny nice I really enjoyed being around him uh, and he bought 15 trucks from us because uh, he needed all these construction trucks and he had quit being a professor so that's the one professor I'm gonna say I learned a lot from and I'm not saying the other people that teach me stuff I mean you know I learned calculus and I learned you know some scientific stuff and I learned business law and stuff like that but uh, the guy that really um, inspired me to go make money was Bernie Bernie was amazing uh, let's see here <clears throat> how's home doing in Texas with crazy weather well we just got our foundation poured um, what day was that Friday I think it was Friday Thursday or Friday we just got the foundation poured uh, because the weather broken it's fine now so we don't have any problems um, I have noticed that your videos capture your audience very quickly well thank you that's nice of you Mike I like you you're all right a great opening statement and you keep us intrigued so that we have to keep watching to see what happens well that's very nice of you what I do and it's more for SEO than anything whatever the title is in one of my not the live videos but my other videos that I post during the week I say the title up front uh, and then I tell you what you're gonna learn in the video uh, that way people know what they're getting okay so I say hey um, you know, 
how to make uh, $10,000 a month by doing free SEO so I'll say that and then I'll say in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all the steps that you got to do to earn $10,000 a month with your website uh, it's gonna be simple and easy we'll get through it very quickly and we're starting right now and then I jump into it and talk about whatever the video is uh, and that's just me watching other people's videos just learning um, is that natural for you or did you master it with practice uh, oh definitely practice 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 I'm, I wasn't good at anything <laughs> you know and I'm still very borderline in most things uh, but here's what I know you know and I got I tell you who said this the best Elon Musk was in an interview with 60 minutes and this this is what I want you to really take away from this oh I gotta plug it in my computer hang on hang on I'm about to lose my battery I'll lose you guys we don't want that to happen we don't want that happening hang on Ugh. got it okay so Elon Musk is in this interview and the interviewer uh, says to him and let me switch to my other screen here I can actually see myself the interviewer says you started this rocket company you're not a rocket scientist you never went to school for that how did you do that and you know what he said he says well there's books on it that's all he said he says there's books on it and that's so true if you want to learn anything guys type it into YouTube anything you want to learn if you want to learn calculus right now type it in there you want to learn biology you want to learn how to film videos you want to learn anything you want you can just type it into YouTube you can learn anything for free when has the world ever been that way when I was a kid if I wanted to know something I had to get on my bicycle and I had to go down to the library and I had to have a library card then I had to go over to the, the the little card index thing and then I had to try to find a card that would match up then I'd find that Dewey decimal number you some of you don't even know what a Dewey decimal number is and then I would find that aisle and then get in there and go to find that book and then it'd be gone <laughs> I mean that's how we got knowledge now what do we do we type it in you know for somebody to say I don't know how to do something nowadays it just blows my mind my sister the other day said that her phone was messed up and it wasn't allowing downloads and she was going to have to go down to the Verizon store and get the phone fixed I said no it's probably a setting and she's like no 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 I've tried and I've looked at it and you know my husband's a computer whiz and he couldn't figure it out and I typed in there what her problem was and instantly there was a solution and I sent her the text and she texted me back she goes oh that worked I mean really everything we want to know is there and you guys can make money you guys can make money online every one of you that I'm talking to right now every one of you can I'm not special you know what you're not special you don't need to be special all you got to do is do some work you know you got to press record if you want to do videos you got to look up stuff on e-commerce if you want to do that if you want to do a digital course do one it's really that simple um, let's see here do you invest in stocks that pay consistent dividends I could care less about dividends it doesn't matter to me uh, I'm always about uh, where is that stock gonna go up to I, I don't I don't care about dividends I just don't it's not my thing uh, not not saying it's bad this is not my thing it's not what I do uh, please don't give up on your YouTube uh, we love you anime love you so nice you so nice I really appreciate that driving now we'll catch the rest on replay okay Paul uh, so guys I want to open it up to you for a couple minutes if you have any questions about anything anything making money online put that in the chat section right now if you're watching this uh, after it went live you're gonna to want to put it in the comment section and we'll come back today I'm gonna to answer a lot of questions I know I got a few in there I haven't gotten to uh, but I will do that today uh, I'm gonna to do that today I'm gonna to edit the rest of my videos today I'm gonna to help my wife rewrite some scripts for ads today you get a very full day that's what I'm doing today and you could even put in there what you're doing today and if you don't have anything to put there why why you should be doing something today you should what what that's how often that's how often right there that's how often okay if you're wondering when you should do stuff that's that's when you should do stuff okay uh, so put in there tell me what you're doing I don't see any typing going on who's doing something today also if you haven't subscribed yet oh my god seriously not yet give me a thumbs up click the thumbs up down there make sure you click the subscribe button down there and make sure you ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time I do a video or if I go live uh, what selfie stick do you recommend you know James I, I have a good one I do recommend and if you look in the description section um, after this video is over with you're gonna find a link in there and it'll say selfie stick and it's an Amazon link click on that and you'll see it uh, so I do have that in there 
Uh, but there's a lot of good ones. I mean, goodness gracious. Uh, I've been watching your videos. Thank you so much, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, and don't watch the beginning ones. They were terrible. Ter terrible. <laughs> they were bad. Please don't go back and watch the beginning ones, whatever you do. Um, but you know what? You start somewhere. I mean, I had I had these cheesy green screens behind me, and I would have like a, like I was in some high rise office building, and I had some crazy stuff. But back then, everybody was like, "Oh yeah, you got to have a green screen to be professional. You got to have a green screen." Um, and I don't even know if I want to be professional. Some of the stuff you got, like wearing a tie. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't want to do that. Um, now, what I've also done, if you haven't noticed, excuse me, guys. On all the videos I've got scheduled for this week, I have the subject after it. So you can go in there, and let me see, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an overview of what's going on this week. You can go in there, uh, Mike says he'll learn from those videos. Good, and you should. I mean, it's free. Uh, do you do business on Amazon? Um, yes and no. Um, I have some of my products there if you search Survival K Food. Uh, and then I have a lot of my resellers who sell my products. Uh, they post on there, so I don't try to compete with them much. I don't want to do that. Um, so let me go to my channel real quick, and I'm going to tell you what's going on for this week. Videos. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. See, yeah, my phone, it doesn't show me doesn't show me what I want to see yeah but if you go look yourself um, you'll find that I've got these videos scheduled uh, and you can actually look next to it and see what the subject matter is I check out Friday's video Friday video is gonna be a lot of fun it's how to live on twenty thousand dollars a month what do you think of that that put, put your comments about that one there how to live on twenty thousand dollars a month how could you possibly do that um, so put that in the comment section there too if, if you like that idea when did you start making YouTube videos um, well I can tell you the year I started but I really didn't do it right uh, I didn't put any effort into it um, I did it lazy I did it to make money I did it for all the wrong reasons and that was 2015 uh, and I dabbled with it uh, up until 2020 I really didn't do anything I mean for five years I mean I put some videos every now and then they were sporadic they were different lengths some of them were only a minute or two uh, they were they were salesy I mean they just weren't good uh, and then in in 2020 I was like you know maybe I ought to really do good videos maybe I ought to really do research and have really good information for people and that's when my YouTube channel started to take off that's when I started making money that's when I started getting subscribers it was when I changed see I before that I was blaming the algorithm I'm like oh you know YouTube doesn't like me and they, they don't show my videos and you know they're trying to keep me from getting subscribers and I was an idiot it's that's not the case at all it's a business man if you don't have good videos and you're not doing stuff right yeah YouTube's not gonna show your videos surprise uh, they're there to make money uh, so I had to kind of look in the mirror and that's what all of us kind of have to do like if you're not making money online right now why don't you look in the mirror and go I'm no different from anybody else I'm just not doing the right things I need to do the right things just have a conversation with yourself and I do that now now if I don't get results I tell myself I'm like I must not be doing the right things let me go find the right things to do and I'll get the right results really it's that simple it's not that hard uh, let's see here I bought your survival cave food on Amazon oh James you did that's very cool thank you so much I do appreciate that um, I'm waiting on fourth video of the four steps to successful online business oh okay cool yeah that, that will be coming to you that, that is a sequence but what you can do Mike if you want to get to it if you click on uh, next video there should be a button down there and it'll take you to the next one so that's a little hack of those videos if you want to do that hello sir Zakaria uh, Chana Zakaria Chana cool name by the way I like that hello sir I've got a kind of philosophical question for you did making more money make you happier hmm hmm um Wow <laughs> I can tell you that whatever you are it will accentuate what you already are so if you're a a-hole now and you get a lot of money you'll just be a bigger a-hole um, what it did for me to make me happy wasn't the money part it was the freedom part okay being able to get up every day and do what I want did make me happier 
it wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm, as you see, I don't have a bunch of jewelry. I don't bracelets, necklace, none of that stuff. It wasn't that. It wasn't being able to buy stuff. Uh, but it was having the freedom. So if I had the freedom to go to Cancun with my wife uh, and sit by a pool and talk to her instead of being at the car dealership and not seeing her all day long and just being exhausted when I get home and not wanting to talk to anybody, um, that made me happier. Okay, so that made me happier. Um, seeing her be able to run her own business and make money online and do what she wants and help animals because that's what she does. Uh, and she has dog training courses and all that uh, makes her happier. Uh, but it's not it's not the cash it's not like um, I go out and buy whatever car I want because I don't I, I've been driving the same car for eight years I don't care I don't care and, and if people want to judge me based on my car that's okay they should they should look at my stock portfolio that's what they should look at <laughs> um, but the money itself no will not make you happy but the freedom that money brings can make you very happy and yes I am happier now that I have the freedom so that's a long answer uh, but that's the real truth okay um, I'm, I'm not going to buy jewelry. I'm not going to buy, you know, you know, a thousand dollar shirt or something like this. This is probably nineteen dollars. I don't know, whatever it costs, probably less than that. Um, let's see. Uh, James Breen, I have a problem spending twenty thousand dollars a month. I'm going to get into that on Friday. I'm going to get into that on Friday, uh, and I'm not going to tell you what the key to that is, but that's interesting. Uh, anime love money can make you happy it it's not the money be careful with that because buying a shiny car feels great buying that new car feels great it smells good you feel like people are looking at you you feel like you're getting attention and it's gonna wear off and you're still you you're still you the other thing money can do is when you share it with other people it can make you happy you know I remember my my son was going through school and he was having a hard time uh, and previously he had screwed, screwed up in school and screwed off and I, you know, I cut him off. I said, well, I'm not going to pay for your school if you're going to get bad grades and you're going to go party and all that. So he went back to school and started doing really well, but he didn't have enough money to live off of. So I said, well, I'll loan, I'll loan you money until you get out and you can pay me back. So we determined an amount he needed and I gave him that amount every month to pay his bills. Uh, and then when he got out of school, I said, oh, by the way, you don't owe me a dime. Uh, I was just helping you out, but I wanted you to think you would have to pay it back. To make you do what you should do uh, and that made me happy because I could just give to him because I didn't have that you know growing up I mean my mother her father wasn't gonna give me money and go here you go I want you to be happy they did not do that that didn't happen so that makes me feel good or give some money to my daughter because she had twins and she needed some extra money just gave it to her that makes me happy so giving away money and helping others can definitely make you happy I was getting some Chinese food the other day and the guy in front of me uh, his card wouldn't go through and he had ordered you know like four or five meals and it was like $40 uh, and I said I got it I'll take care of it and he looked at me he's like I don't even know you I said I don't know sorry go take care of somebody else one day uh, and you know things like that can really make you happy they really can they can do a lot for you uh, let's see here money is not everything but for everything you need money <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good saying that's a pretty good saying what do you think about white hat versus black hat methods for making money and which one made you more money? I don't do any black hat. I don't do anything that's not on the up and up. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to. Um, I, I wouldn't feel good about myself. Let's say black hat worked and you could beat everybody with it. Would you feel good? Um, and, and and I know you're doing it for money, but I, I want to feel good at the end of the day. I just want to feel good. Um, you know, I was uh, I was at the grocery store the other day and I got uh, organic. Uh, red onion it didn't have a sticker on it so you couldn't tell it was organic and I knew if I went up there and set it down they would just charge me for a red onion I told them it was organic it's organic and you said well JR you could have gotten it cheaper no I couldn't have because you know if you cheat that little bit in that area it's gonna come back to you somewhere now, maybe not from that store but somehow somebody's gonna cheat you so I, that's, that's just how I look at stuff I'm, I'm really afraid of cheating anybody I really am I don't like doing that uh, let's see here oh, I love your answer spot on yeah, freedom is great, man. Freedom is everything. Freedom is 100% everything. You know, if you have freedom, you're going to have a pretty happy life if you choose to do the right things and you got the right heart. Okay, that matters. Uh, at what age did you quit your job? You're going to love this one, anime. 50. <laughs> 50. It took me that long. Now, I had, I had had businesses before that, but I had to go back and work for somebody because I wanted custody of my children. I was a single dad. And the only way I could get custody at the time was to have a job because 
the business that I had I traveled I was on the road about eight months out of the year touring I was a professional speaker uh, and I had a, a sales training company uh, and the lawyer told me well you, you can't do that and get your kids it's not gonna happen this is not gonna happen you're not gonna get custody so I had to go work for somebody so that's what I did uh, so while I raised my kids um, I breed world-class Maltese really that's interesting that's a cool little dog that's a little tiny dog isn't it my little tiny dog uh, want to be happy cultivate an attitude of gratitude you're 100% right no matter what you have if you can't be happy with it what makes you think getting more is gonna make you happier think about that no matter what you have right now what makes you think if you are not happy with it what makes you think having more will make you happier it won't it won't you just got more uh, I'm I'm becoming more and more of a minimalist to where I don't want a lot of things I don't want a lot of furniture I don't want a lot of cars I don't want boats I don't want all that stuff I've had a boat you know I've had a lot of cars I had all that and it really doesn't make me any happier it's just more stuff to take care of you know if you've got a boat then you got insurance and you got a slip or you got to park it somewhere you know you, you got you feel like you got to go out in it because you know you have a boat and you got to use it um, if I want a boat I'll go rent a boat you know I'll just go rent a boat that's what I'll do um, I'm a big newbie at stocks it, is it N O O B I E? I'm terrible at spelling or is it N E W B I E I don't know anyhow new newbie at stocks just uh, catched up on GMA reddit story so did all those degenerates as they call themselves at reddit make nothing in the end because Robin Hood forbid the exchanges I don't know I saw that and I didn't follow it I it was it was a little confusing to me um, so and I anything that looks too easy I'm like yeah I probably shouldn't do it you know it's like I, I won't do Bitcoin because people are going oh my gosh you can get rich in Bitcoin everybody's doing it eh, maybe maybe not I don't know I don't understand it so I'm not gonna do it uh, what is attitude of gratitude uh, what 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 he's saying is is you have to have an attitude where you're thankful for whatever you have no matter what it is no matter what it is and I can tell you no matter what you have there's somebody that would love to have it you know no matter how bad your situation is somebody would love to have it you said well JR what about the guy who who's searching for food every single day and you know doesn't have a job and his health is poor I would tell you somebody who died the day before would love to have that opportunity so there's always always somebody that would love to have what you have unless you're dead and then nobody wants dead <laughs> nobody wants dead um, I have never been motivated by money uh, only motivated by how I can use it to impact my life and the lives of others that's that's all money is I mean really when it comes right down to it I mean you could take money and burn it and heat yourself maybe that's the only real use for money but short of that it's what you do with it that matters uh, and if you only spend it on yourself and you never help anybody else you will not be as happy this is a guarantee guys guarantee um, great talking with you sir uh, you got a new subscriber from Morocco oh my god that's awesome I gotta go to Morocco I love Moroccan food I love couscous I love the dishes I love Moroccan food I we've got a couple here in San Diego and I haven't checked Austin yet where we're going to I love Moroccan food and you know it's got a little bit of a Middle Eastern bent to it I, I love Persian food too uh, yeah so yeah I love that food great stuff of course I love all kinds of food um, they, they put a lot of work into it, a lot of love into it are you planning to visit here someday I hope good things in the weather but the economy is yeah <laughs> uh, yeah I would like to go there there's a lot of countries I want to go to when this thing breaks I was doing six or seven trips a year uh, I think I was in six or seven countries in 2019 uh, so yeah I love doing that newbie is used in games oh okay so you guys spell it n-o-o-b-i-e makes sense what anime love said um it's just video game slang oh look i learned something i learned something uh you're normal jr <laughs> it's the rest of us who are not no no that may be normal i don't know uh think life is difficult google nick juve or wait well, hold, on, hold on all right let's let's google this somebody gave us a suggestion and i'm going to get real here and his name is nick n-i-k uh j U V U C I C go 
Uh, Australian American Christian evangelist and motivational speaker. Okay, so he's he he does positive stuff. Uh, and I want to show you guys um, a picture of the happiest guy I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, well, hang on one second here. I'll, if I can find it. If I can find it. I pulled it up the other day because I was showing it to somebody else. But this is one of the happiest people I think I've ever met. Um, he's an awesome person. And I have a picture somewhere with him. Let me see if I can find it. I hate, I hate when this happens when I'm like, there's something I'm going to show you guys and I'm live. And then I can't find it. All right, I'm going to go back to 2000 and I think it was... 16 when I was with him if I can find that and a little bit further that's 2017 and put your comments in there guys while I'm doing this uh, I'd love to see your comments love to see what's going on with you guys I'd love that uh -huh. there it is this is the happiest guy I know right there can you see that? Now, Google Sean Stevenson. That guy is one of the coolest guys. He's a motivational speaker, was a motivational speaker. He passed away. Uh, and that's me with him. Uh, and you Google Sean Stevenson and listen to some of the stuff he's got to say about life. He was one of the happiest people I've ever seen. He had brittle bone disease and broke almost every single bone in his body at one point or another. Wasn't supposed to live past being a child. Uh, he lived into his 30s. Uh, awesome human being listen to Sean Stevenson okay he's since passed away uh, fell and hit his head uh, and caused him to go into a coma because of his brittle bone disease and died uh, but I got to tell you man if you listen to him you're not gonna feel sorry for yourself ever again ever 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 never I, I felt so lucky to have met him uh, listen, da, 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 da. anyway JR how much money did you lose when learning stock trading um, I didn't <laughs> How about that I didn't I don't trade it's very rare for me to trade uh, what I do is I buy and I hang on to it and watch it go up that's basically what I do now do I buy and sell some yes based on events uh, I was gonna hold on to Sirius forever and I think I sold it for six dollars and something and I bought it at 24 cents and why did I sell it I sold it because there's other players in the market now there's Spotify and there's all these streaming things um, when I bought it, there was only Sirius XM Radio and all these other streaming platforms weren't big. Uh, they certainly weren't in cars. Uh, but now if you jump into Tesla, you can listen to Spotify. You can listen to something else. You don't need Sirius XM. So I just felt like it was time to get out. Uh, but I have not lost money in the stock market. Now, did I lose money on some individual stocks? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had bought uh, Chrysler and Ford and GM and GM went bankrupt. And I lost all my money in GM. Um, but it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, I don't put a whole lot in one stock. Sometimes the amount I put into a stock grows into a whole lot. Like Tesla has grown. Whew, I mean, it's it's a. It, I've really done well there. I will tell you that. Uh, but uh, I didn't know it would, and I didn't want it to be that much in my portfolio. It just is. It just is what it is. Um, Nick was born without arms or legs. Well, there you go, James. There you go. And he's a happy person. So, uh, duh. You know, um, uh, yet to have failure because I'm still studying. There you go. You can't fail if you don't try. Wait, that's not good, is it? Is that good? Anime love. Come on. <laughs> is it true that you learn from failure? 100%. What else would you learn from? You don't learn from success. You only learn from failure. And here's what you learn. You learn what doesn't work and you quit doing those things. Like right now I'm running ads and I've got hundreds of keywords and phrases and all that and all the ones that reach a certain amount without getting a sale, without getting enough clicks, I kill those. And I know not to use those anymore. Sounds reasonable, right? That's how I do that. Uh, and I'm spending a lot of money a day trying to figure that out. Um, guys, I'm going long today. I'm going long, it's almost 10 o'clock. You guys stuck around till 10 o'clock. I'm, in, I'm impressed and amazed. Uh, would you do me another favor? Please, 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 please put in the comments what you think of this training. I wanna hear that. Uh, put in the comments if you like it, if you didn't like it, if you got some value out of it, if there's something else 
you want to know put that in the comments I'm here to serve you guys I seriously am doesn't matter if, if it's live and you do it in the chat now if it's in the comments later on I really want to serve you guys I want to give you what you want if there's an area that you want me to cover that I know about I'm not gonna cover something I don't know about I'm not gonna teach you sewing I don't know sewing. but if there's an area I know about making money online and I do know about a lot of areas I've done millions in sales in both digital and physical products that's what this is about it's about helping you guys so put that in that chat section if you would comment section if you're watching this and it's not live in addition to that if you haven't subscribed do so and ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time I go live and I really enjoy talking to you guys it's been amazing uh, it's a great day but I got to get out there and get some work done uh, so can we buy stocks and hold on to them indefinitely until their price rises yeah that's what I do uh, if that's the case that's like a cheat code for making money 100% it is because you know in general the stock market's going to go up about 10% a year I also have uh, um, uh, index funds I have fidelity index fund and that's just an index of a whole bunch of different stocks and I know it's going to go up about 10% a year yeah so I mean you know, the first year you get 10% the next year you get 10% on your stocks plus another 10% so yeah I mean you hold on to them for 20 or 30 years you'll probably be pretty well off you know uh, consistently buying in that's another big thing uh, it was good talking to you anime love yeah great having you here you, you've been a nice addition um, how about changing the word failure to results I do I do I, I say these are the results we don't want I, I say that often that's a really good point that's an excellent point um, these are not the results we want so we're gonna stop doing these things and let's keep doing these things here because they're working but you got to try a lot of things right I don't run two ads and see what happens you know I got 11 different videos I've got hundreds of keywords and topics and audiences and uh, tons and we throw this wide net out there which I learned from ad outreach which is a really good company I throw this wide net out there and then I gather what works and just get rid of the rest you know get rid of the, the things that didn't hit the target that's what we do um, JR have you heard of shout outs for example you pay an influencer on Instagram five bucks for a 24-hour post haven't tested it yet but it seems it's far superior than ads um, yeah I have heard about it and I've heard people have gotten good results out of it would I do it probably not um, no nah, I, I like doing my own stuff I like doing my own ads uh, hey JR you've been unstoppable today whoa thank you James you're always a kind you know it's like when I see James in here I'm like it's gonna be a good day everything's fine James is here doesn't matter if anybody else shows up Paul's here doesn't matter but now we've got so many Mike and uh, anime anyway, love so many good people in here uh, my point uh, great live sir we'll see you around okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this thank you so much for being here today I want you guys to have a great day don't forget subscribe thumbs up share like do all those things okay and I'll see you in the next video I'll see you tomorrow morning